So we did the orbital diagram for nitrogen. How do you do the shortcut orbital diagram for nitrogen? Well, you just take that electron configuration, and what I'm going to have you guys do is put the symbol in the first box, a little scribble. Then there's only one way to draw an S-shaped cloud. So I'm going to give the 2S gets only one box. We're going to put both electrons into it and a little scribble to say I'm done with the two S's. And then after the two S's, the next thing I'm gonna focus on are those two P's. And there's three different ways to draw P-shaped clouds. The first electron gets on the bus, empty seat, empty seat, empty seat. A little scribble to indicate that we're done. So the shortcut way and the original way were not much of an improvement there, right? But nitrogen's pretty early on in the periodic table. What if we were doing an orbital diagram for iron? And it says to do just the shortcut way for iron. If you look back at your notes, argon, we said that iron's... Um, Shortcut electron configuration was going to be argon, 4s2, 3d6. So let's draw that as an orbital diagram. So the first thing we put is argon, a little scribble. The next piece we're going to focus on there is the 4s. Well, there's only one way to draw an S-shaped cloud. It's the one that looks like a sphere. So I'm going to give it one box. And my electron configuration says I have to put two electrons into that 4S cloud. So first one gets on the bus, empty seat. Second one's forced to pair up. Turns its back on it. Clockwise, counterclockwise. I'm done with the 4S's. Little scribble. The next part I'm going to focus on is the 3D6. Well, there was one way to draw S's, three way to draw P's, five different ways to draw D's. So what that means is the next five boxes I'm going to label as D's. I'm going to take six electrons and put them into these clouds. So the first electron gets on the bus and says, yay, empty seat. Electron number two gets its own seat. Same with number three, number four, number five, number six is forced to pair up. So we typically fill left to right. So I'm going to double up that first D cloud is where that sixth electron would go. And then a little scribble at the end just to say I'm done. It's a little easier to count the boxes that way too. So in our examples that we saw here, it said we only had examples of S, P, and D clouds. Our S clouds only got one box because there's only one way to draw S's. Our P clouds here got three boxes because there's three different orientations of P clouds. And then the D's, there's five different ways to draw D's, so they got five boxes. If I were to give you one that had F-shaped clouds, seven.